Mission Bio's single cell genome editing analysis pipeline is a complete software solution for the detection of single cell edits. It can help determine the rate of on and off target events, as well as the rate of co-occurrence. The genome editing pipeline can generate four different reports, single sample base editing, single sample knockout, multi-sample base editing, and multi-sample knockout. This video will go through the two base editing reports, starting with the single sample report. The first page is the summary page, which gives some general run details, including the number of cells called, the mean reads per cell per amplicon, panel uniformity, and the percent of reads mapped back to target. The left column, goes into more detail about each of these run metrics, including a full breakdown of each amplicon's performance in the run. A help icon can be found at the top of each set of metrics, and this will link you to a support article, giving more details about the metrics and how they can be interpreted. Taken together, these metrics can give you insights into the quality of the run itself, both on the input level and the sequencing level. On the right-hand side of the page, we begin to see some of our editing-specific information. This first table is a summary of editing, which details all edits, both on and off target, per target group, that was captured in the run, showing a breakdown of how it appeared through all alleles and cells captured in the run. This table begins to provide information not available through bulk analysis, such as the number of cells edited and the zygosity status of those cells. This particular base editing experiment had three intended targets, and each guide RNA also had one predicted off target. The target groups consist of both the on and off targets for each guide RNA. So the target group kit included both the on target edit as well as the off target. With this table and with all tables in the reports, you can show and hide different columns using this drop down menu at the top. You can sort the information by different data in different columns in the table, and you can download the data in various file outputs right from the HTML itself. Underneath this is a bar graph displaying the number and percentage of alleles that were edited versus unedited per target group. The target group can be shown and changed using the drop down at the top of the graph. The target all plots are generated using Plotly, and Plotly-based tools can be found in the upper right corner of all plots to help visualize the data in different ways. Moving on to the second page, or the advanced page, we have even more information about the editing captured. The top two tables detail all of the on-target variants as well as the off-target variants captured, showing information at both the allele and cell level for each variant as well as how many cells were heterozygous and homozygous for each variant. Beneath this, we see a histogram of the indel lengths captured per target group, which again can be adjusted via the top, the drop-down menu at the top of the graph. To the right of this is a bar graph of the zygosity of on-target variants captured. And the bottom left depicts the on-target variant uh, variants cap oops, on target variant distribution per target group, showing the actual base changes of all variants detected within the target window. The bottom right graph shows the percentage breakdown of the top five edits in each target group across the entire cellular population. The definitions tab is the final tab of the report, and it's present in every single report as a reference tool. In it, every single term and graph or table generated is defined and explained in more detail. When multiple runs have been processed using the same editing techniques and you would like to compare the results, you can run the multi-sample pipeline. The base editing multi-sample pipeline consists of three main graphics. The first of which compares the on-target editing status per target group between the runs, showing the percentage of cells that were either wild-type, monoallelic, or biallelic. The second graph compares the rates of the top five edits per target group between the runs. Lastly, the third graph shows the on-target variant distribution by target group per run. The second and last page of this run is the definitions tab, which again is here as a reference tool to explain everything in the report in more detail.
Note that along with the report, the genome editing pipeline produces many output files. Importantly, there is a CSV file of the data contained in each table depicted, an HTML of each graphic, and an H5 file which contains information of all cells called in the run. A full list of the output files and what they contain can be found on our support site.